Keeping it interessante backstage at Riot Fest with Dos Equis. I'm Lauren, and this is the president of Party, the czar of ZA, the ambassador of Riot Fest, Andrew WK. Well, that's a very flattering and over-the-top introduction, <laughs> and I will take it. Thank you very much. Wait, the introduction was over-the-top, or the fact that I'm wearing you All on of the my above. Body All of the above. Thank the you for, for having that t-shirt and, and, and also wearing it. Well, thank you for stopping by. I mean, this is an honor. You are royalty. You are Riot Fest royalty. You're so kind to say that. It's only because of the good people at Riot Fest that keep bringing me back for some <laughs> strange reason. I think they may have a, uh, a mental defect or maybe they've been uh, having a, psych a psychedelic or maybe even psychotic experience that's made them forget that I've played every year <laughs> for many years now. That's unheard seven. of. Seven yeah, years. Is it seven? It's good seven. for you because I had lost count. Um, it's incredible to, to be invited back time and time again. And each year, it gets better. It really does. I, I, I suppose it's like uh, you get closer with a friend and your relationship develops and becomes more intimate and more valuable. And that's, that's how this has felt. It started as a, a crush and it developed into a full-blown marriage. So you're married to Riot Fest? If they'll have me, if they won't divorce me, and if they do, you know, I, I couldn't say that I, I, I didn't have a good run. It, it cannot last forever. Each year, I never take for granted the, the idea that we'll be invited back. I never assume that it will happen, and then it does. But maybe this will be the last year. N not by my wish, but you never, you, you, have to, you have to go into every year thinking it could be the last time, so you give everything you have, you know? Sure. Have they given you the key to Douglas Park yet? No, um, but if there's a key here, I would hope that it opens the bathrooms, the private uh, <laughs> Douglas Park groundskeeper bathroom. That's the most beautiful. And if, if that was the key to Douglas Park, I would accept it. Um, I'd like to talk politics with you quickly, if you wouldn't mind. What's going on with the party party? Uh, yes, the party party, for those that may not be uh, aware, was my effort to bring more partying into the realm of politics. So we have obviously some well-established political parties, but I thought those parties could be partiers. So I created, as you said, the party party. And uh, it was very well received, surprisingly enough. I, it seemed that there were many folks out there, like myself, who wanted politics to be partier. And uh, it, it all went very well. I think we accomplished that goodwill burst of enthusiasm and uh, it boosted the spirits of many and uh, got more of a celebratory attitude in the realm of politics. For better or worse, a gentleman sent uh, a letter through his lawyer, uh, a cease and desist, oh, no. because there already was a party party. What? So I wasn't aware of this, um, but I admire the, the, the foresight of this other fellow. I think he was located in the Carolinas, who many years ago, I, I, it turns out, founded a party party. But, um, you know, the party spirit lives on. It was, it was created before I was ever born. I'm just one of the, um, the many partiers that's trying to promote this attitude. And uh, we had a good run, and, and, and what we accomplished will, will hopefully uh, roll forth regardless. Well, whoever that dude is needs okay. to relinquish the party party to Andrew hey, WK. I it, mean, I will start... I'll start a riot. Well, hey, we're Riot Fest. You know, it's an appropriate right? place. This is where rioting is allowed and encouraged. Could you see yourself seriously getting into politics? No. But thank you for asking. Okay. We all have limited skills and limited time, and I'm trying <laughs> to direct mine to the place where they have the most effectiveness. Is there ever a day you wake up and feel like, I don't really feel like partying today? Not yet. Not yet, but I, I'm not saying that it's not, it, it certainly is possible that that will happen. That's one of my greatest fears. Some days I've had nightmares where I woke up in the nightmare and didn't feel like partying. And then I woke up into real life, so to speak, and still did want to party. So the party spirit hasn't left me yet. It's something that I can't completely control. The party gods have bestowed this energy into me. And uh, I'm doing my best to earn it and to use it and to amplify it and to direct it. But... If it leaves me someday, again, I can't say that I didn't have a good run. I just, I just pray that never happens. Can you explain what party power is? It's really an attitude. Uh, partying is not just an activity. It's an attitude that says we're going to celebrate the ups and downs of life, which, is, which are not easy. It's almost irrational. How can you celebrate the bad? We normally celebrate the good. We're trying to celebrate the fact that we got to exist at all and take all that comes with that experience with as much... Uh, intensity and enthusiasm as we can muster up so we're here to say we're excited about not being dead even when it's very painful and we're going to rally together to try to make the most of it 
So last year you married a couple on stage. Oh, wow, that's right. At Riot Fest. That's correct. How did that even come about? They reached out at some point, I think relatively last minute. And we felt uh, quite honored, quite humbled that they would choose to uh, have their special moment in the midst of uh, of our uh, presentation. And really, it became their wedding party. It was their wedding reception and their wedding ceremony. I am a licensed minister with the Universal Life Church, like so many other folks out there. <laughs> and it was, it was actually a real uh, wedding. So to think that someone would spend their special day with us uh, it was quite meaningful, and I, I I can only imagine that their wedding has been a nonstop party. Their marriage has been a nonstop has be. party. That's definitely a requirement. How are you going to out party that on the Rebel stage starting at nine o'clock tonight at Riot Fest? <laughs> Who knows? You just you, you go up there with with one focused intention to give everything you possibly have in that moment and turn yourself over to it and i rely on the music i rely on the people in the the, the crowd i rely on the, the 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 force of nature that this festival has become to to do the heavy lifting and i'm just there to party and the rest hopefully takes care of itself i have a, a rapid fire segment okay for you, since you are these are challenging the president of partying I'll do my best non-politically all right so what is more party t-shirts or tank tops I mean, this is this is something I do not excel at because I would say they're both extraordinarily party t-shirts and tank tops. I think they could be. Is a that a valid answer? Sure. Okay. Sure. Well, I like judges? them both. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you for your graciousness. Dogs or cats? Well, I love both, but I am allergic to cats, so I suppose I have to pick dogs in that case. I really resent the fact that the party gods have made me uh, develop hives and watery eyes and a runny nose and an itchy throat when I cuddle a cat. But sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes I'll party with a cat, deal with the allergic reactions just because their fur is that fluffy. Can you imagine if he was allergic to partying? Well, that, that would be, be terrible. Sad. That would be really Don't sad. even. I've never even considered that. That's that's horrifying. All right, what's more party, Netflix or chill? Is chill another another station? <laughs> Or is that just the, we'll just the option of not watching Netflix? <laughs> it's what you do. You Netflix and chill. Oh, at the same time. With your person? Yeah, I would say you, do it, do it, you could do it at the same time. <laughs> All right. Goat or goatee or mustache? Well, my dad had a mustache. I grew up with him having a mustache. And then as, when he got older, he developed a goatee, which I thought was quite surprising. So uh, I suppose you can go from one to the other, and then you can always go back to the other one. Uh, again, you're, you basically, when you have a goatee, you do have a goatee and a mustache. That is a good point. Uh, beer or liquor? Well, I always enjoyed liquor uh, more than beer because the carbonation made it harder for me, at least, to, to suck down a large quantity at high, high rates of speed, which was my main goal when consuming alcohol, to drink as much as possible, as fast as possible. So liquor would definitely had a, a more efficient alcohol delivery method. What's the most partiest liquor on the planet? Well, higher proof, so I guess Everclear, you know, if you're going to try to cut to the chase, that's, you got to be careful, obviously, um, you don't want to die, uh, but if you're trying to get as much alcohol into your bloodstream, into your system as possible, Everclear, high proof bourbon, there's actually high proof vodka out there, mm -hmm. um, even Listerine can work. There you go. All right, this, this last one might be hard, I don't want you to stress over it, okay. but pizza or tacos? That is the most stressful question of all. And I'm glad that you used the word stress because that is the challenge I find. In a world with so many party pleasures on offer, why stress ourselves out having to create a hierarchy, having to rank them, having to choose between them when we can indulge and enjoy and appreciate all of them? So I pick tacos and pizza. I, pe I pick pizza covered in tacos. I, I pick a, a taco stuffed with a pizza. And uh, eating them back and forth and just, th this is a, uh, the world we get to live in where we get to have all kinds of music, all kinds of foods, all kinds of people, all kinds of experience, even bad experiences, like I said. And that's the party mindset, to indulge and appreciate and give thanks for all of them. Worship this thing called being alive. Well, I'm putting in a request for next year at Riot Fest that the vendors work on some kind of taco-covered pizza or pizza-stuffed taco. I feel like we really need to pull this together for year number eight for Andrew W.K. Thank you. Uh, if anyone could do it, I'm sure the good food folks here at Riot Fest could pull that off. Got a big night ahead of you, a headlining slot, and then an after-party party. That's right, yes. Thank you for being aware of that. With a DJ set at the Metro, which you can still grab some tickets to, and... 
Thank you so much Thank for you. being a beacon of light and a cesspool of negativity. You're like a pepperoni spotted spotlight. Oh, wow. Just they, they, shining so bright. These are incredible compliments, incredibly creative, and you're so kind, and you are a spotlight of joy as well, and, and so can everyone be, and that's the party mindset to bring out our best. You know, the challenges here, they can bring out our worst or our best. Let's rally and get that best up to the surface. Let's do it. Andrew WK. Thank you.